we're finally at the stage where I can say that the cleanup of low-level low level radioactive waste in Port Hope and Port Granby will begin soon. Today, I'm announcing that the Government of Canada is moving ahead with the implementation phase of the Port Hope Area Initiative with funding of $1.28 billion. We know the scope of the work that needs to be done. It's going to be a big job. An estimated 1.7 million cubic meters of contaminated soil will be dug up, trucked, and stored in new state-of-the-art long-term management facilities. Here in Port Hope, large and small waste sites will be cleaned up and the harbor will be dredged and restored. This is a billion dollar project and it's unlikely, it's unlike anything ever before undertaken in Canada. Uh, phase two of the Port Hope Area Initiative is the stage where we do the field work. In phase one, we completed the environmental assessment and the detailed design, in essence completing all of the planning required for the projects. We're now ready to go to the market with our detailed designs and tender the work for construction. The bottom line here is we want to make sure that the job is done right and done right for the last time because there have been previously cleanups and we are, uh, and so this is the most comprehensive. I mean, this is a world-class operation. The rest of the world, the rest of the nuclear host communities in other parts of the world would be looking at what we do here as the right way to go. This is a fabulous announcement. Announcement and okay, really guys, truly indicates the oh, implication yeah. and the impact yeah. Of, yeah. of this project on our community. New infrastructure will be built and hundreds of new jobs will be created to do the work. Jobs in excavation, trucking, construction, services, engineering and project management. The construction and cleanup will generate jobs and economic activity for the duration of the 10-year Port Hope project. Equally important, we're investing in a clean, safe, and prosperous future for the residents of Port Hope and Clarington.